Shutter light insulation in a 2021 Honda Ridgeline, step by step. I actually love my 2021 Honda Ridgeline Black Edition, but I was less enthusiastic about these um, uh, side door markers, and I missed the puddle lights that I had in my uh, previous vehicle. So I uh, bought a set of LED puddle lights for the front doors and installed the right one already. I'm about to install the left one. So this is what the unit looks like. And it has this wire, which actually installs in the um, socket for the inc existing incandescent bulb in the door. And this is the cover off the, the, the OEM cover off the, the right side. And you can see that there's a good match there. And this is the original incandescent bulb. And I, I have to admit, when I first took, looked at that and I expected the um, light, the, the whole uh, uh, puddle light to come out and, and leave a, a, a outlet for me to plug in. But the way this thing works, the, um, the end of this bulb, which I'm trying to get to focus for you, the end of this bulb goes <laughs> into an outlet that, you know, engineering is a wonderful thing that this, uh, this plug fits in from the unit. So the insulation is literally pull the cover off. Uh, jig, uh, you have to finagle the bulb to get out, to get out, to come out and install this. And then you have to do some finagling to fit this on. It fits on well, but it's uh, it's tight. So I uh, use some um, tools to get that, make that work. But uh, the kit came with this thing, really small flathead screwdriver that's only gonna cause you problems poking around on plastic. So I went to my standby, a, uh, a kitchen, uh, a kitchen knife that's that's flat and strong and you can uh, uh, try things off with and to get it the thing you reinstalled I went to a big flathead screwdriver um, that I could you know uh, do some leverage with to, to get the cover on because again it fits tight so again I'm gonna use my uh, my kitchen knife to uh, pry this off and <laughs> uh, hold on and the kitchen knife is a good fit, so it goes right in there. And this is when I wish I had three hands. There it goes. So that, that comes off real easy. And let's see if I can get this out just as easy. It's in there pretty good. And this one's hot. Okay, got it out. And again, the end of it is shaped like that plug. And going to get the plug in there without causing a problem, hopefully. Hold on. So I had to use two hands to put the plug in, but it, it goes right in, push it all the way in, and it comes out. So you still get these little LED, LEDs for the side markers, and it's hard to see the puddle light in the daylight, but it is, it is illuminating. And uh, it, and this one has a Ridgeline logo. If you've seen that Ridgeline going down the mountaintop kind of logo, that's the one it has. So I'm cool about that. So uh, give me a minute and I'll get it installed. It has a couple tabs on the bottom. So I, uh, you know, put the bottom in first and then I use the large flathead at, at those tabs on the top and, and put, use a bit of force to uh, get a match. You know, obviously you don't want to crack the unit, but but to fit in here, you're gonna have to uh, give it a little body English. And we're good. And the second one's always easier to go in than the first one. Isn't it funny how that works? But anyway, use this again at the at the tops to you know, put some downward pressure on that to get it started into the plastic. And then both thumbs on the wings for this thing. Uh, and it went in with a satisfying pop. So I'm, uh, you know, I'm happy with this. We can't wait till nighttime to see how the logo looks on the ground. And now the night test of my new puddle light.
Mm. So there's the ridge light emblem on the ground, nice and bright. And you can see the side marker lights from these side LEDs um, make it clear to motorists that the door's open so they can see that. So that's pretty great. I'm pretty happy with that. And it took, um, you know, 10 minutes making a video while I did the installation, so 10 minutes to do the installation. So pretty straightforward. And that's true if you do have these, these lights in your car already. If you don't, uh, there's no way to power them. So if, they, if the door comes equipped with these side lights, then it's a quick install to uh, replace them with these LED projections. Pretty cool.